coach, I know you don't want to be down 2 nothing, but how can a win like that help galvanize the group? Uh, good choice of words. It is galvanizing. You can tell by the, the energy in our room after the game. Um, but what I'm happy with was this morning we had a lot of energy. The players were excited to play. I thought we're going to be good. We started the game well. Um, you know, uh, they scored a couple of nice power play goals in the second. We fell behind. But we talked about staying with it for 60 minutes and playing the right way. And even though we made a couple of mistakes in the third still, because you're going to make mistakes. It's a game of mistakes. We just kept battling. We kept playing the right way. We got to the goal line and we got some greasy goals. I know the last one was a really nice goal, um, you know, but even if you look at McAvoy's goal, the shot is beautiful. But how we got that puck recovered, the battle by Lindholm and then Brazo beats two guys, gets the puck over to Marshawn. It's the second and third effort league. We talk about it a lot and that's how you score. Jim, when you went down 0-2, what was the mood like on the bench? You know, two power play goals, uh, Way better than it's been. Yeah, they're, they're, like I said, I think, you know, um, you learn through adversity, you know. Despite the fact we're 4-1-1 one and one now in our last six, it doesn't feel like it, right? Um, and then that's for everybody, you know, that's, I'm talking about our group, <clears throat> you know. And, like, when you get a game like tonight and you realize that if you stay in a moment, Good things happen, believe in the process, and we just worry about what's next. We don't worry. Like the first period, thought we played well, but we didn't come out with anything. Well, it's over with. Now, on to the second. Uh, Hampus, lost him in the first. Yeah. Uh, don't have any update on him. We'll know more clarification tomorrow. How impressive it was it your back line to, to play two periods without him, and how, how difficult is that for you to have to, to kind of rejig things? Um, well, I mean, one thing that happens, I mean, you, you don't want to lose, you know, one of your best players in Hampus Lindholm, but one thing that happens when you get down to 5D, they don't have time to think. They're just going over the boards, you know, rolling over, and they play more on instinct, they play faster. So that happened tonight. We can't keep playing 5D, so, you know, we'll, we'll be calling somebody up. How did you like that first shot mentality from McAvoy tonight? Loved it. What a shot. If I could shoot like that, man, <laughs> why wouldn't you use it all the time, right? And uh, Morgan Geeky, he's been out for a little while, has a goal, has another golden chance. What, do you, what does that say about his comeback ability? That says a lot about him and how he's wired. Like, I, I saw it. He just kept working, like, in practice, you know. And I know he was probably like, oh, oh maybe I'll play this next game. And I sat him out three games in a row. You know, but he came tonight and he was really, really good. And Swayman's performance in the third, you know, go down 0-2, but he's got to keep you in it. No, oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, he's made a lot of saves already this year as, as Corpus Allo, you know. Um, we don't feel that uh, – we feel our goaltending has been really good. You know, it's um, we got to keep building in all the other areas.